monsoon is around the corner now and with monsoon it means just a lot of rainfall and that means monsoon maintenance for those of you that drive or ride bikes should now be considered <laughs> and what i mean by monsoon maintenance is basically because it rains a lot your vehicle is going to get wet a lot and so as the driving or riding conditions a lot of mud because there's still a lot of unpaved surfaces around the city or around the country and when you drive on such conditions it basically means the mud wells the mud guard areas of the bike or the car they're going to start collecting a lot of mud very quickly so unlike in the summer or in the winter dry months where there isn't a lot of rainfall you're going to have to clean the mud well the mud guard areas of the vehicles more often primarily for a couple of reasons one your disc your cars have some sort of brakes on them drum brakes or disc brakes the disc brakes should be cleaned so that when the disc clamps on to the when the brake pads on the disc rotor clamp on you don't want too much of dust dirt mud there because if it is there it means your brake might not work as efficiently or the mud the grime will basically harm if it gets in between the disc and the rotors when the brakes are applied it's not going to be the brake pads that are like creating friction on the the disc it'll be the dust and the particles that you've collected on the road so they'll damage and wear out your brake more quicker it'll also mean less efficient brakes it'll also mean because of all of that there's a lot of like metal in the underbody springs suspension all exposed in the underbody of the car battery on the EV2 and while i won't say it'll make things rust because there's usually a anti rust sort of coating on most of these external components the chances of it being catching rust will increase though unfortunately because again it's a lot of water sometimes salt water if it's like sewage related water uh, that the vehicle has to go on um who knows how thick the mud uh, in your locality or where you drive is and so all of that leads to a lot more maintenance needed in the monsoon and more frequent washing is probably what i want to put out the most and it doesn't have to be a full soap top to down wash it can just be a quick water rinse especially immediately after those muddy drives and the other thing that i guess motorists should start paying attention to is also when driving in the monsoon the surfaces are much slippery when they are wet than they are dry i know captain obvious there but it's true and especially at higher speeds so i'm talking about speeds above 50 60 there is this phenomena called aqua or hydroplaning depending on where you are what part of the world you like picked it up in and that basically means a thin layer of water molecules and water will basically bubble up surface in between the floor water molecules and then you have your tire and as a result whether it's a bike or it's a four wheel vehicle it immediately lose all grip whatsoever and this usually happens when you are driving across a puddle or yeah some sort of small water collection at a higher speed usually at lower speed there is enough grip the tire will disperse the water collected on the ground but at higher speeds it can happen and as a result you have instances of actually zero grip like completely zero grip so whether you steer you don't have any grip whether you want 
braking or whether you want some acceleration you don't get any of that unfortunately and as a result cars will spin around hit a wall hit a tree hit a barrier you name it and so that on top of lower visibility from the rain from the dust from the mud are all things that I do hope motorists two-wheelers and four-wheelers both like Take in mind as the monsoon season approaches and continues. And on top of that, during like extreme conditions, something else that is advisable for motorists. But I haven't seen it done within the city of Kathmandu too much, but I have on the highway and in times of like extreme rain storms is also using your emergency indicators uh, your hazard it's usually some located somewhere in the middle of the car um, wow thank you um, yeah like the thing about the hazard signs is that in the rain visibility is low and using your headlights using your hazards usually is something that drivers do to not just alert themselves but also to those around them of like your vehicle saying hey my vehicle is occupying this space it's moving at this rate on this road please be alert (laughs) and so yeah just all safety tips and reminders Uh, something that additionally can also be done (coughs) with uh, your vehicle is to get your disc clean your brake disc clean uh, you know the the clamping mechanism I mentioned that stops a car because dust and mud pile up and sometimes get into those tiny nooks and crannies of the brake your brake pedal your brake lever on bikes can get harder because everything like runs on hydraulics these days and as a result your pedal or your lever can feel harder so taking it to the workshop for a quick like sanding (laughs) that's what usually they do in Hyundai's workshops and Volkswagen's when I used to take it Um, and just it's like a quick half an hour one hour process where the mechanics will just sand it out and your brake feel is back to normal So anyway, um, hope you learned something new and let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll see you on the next vlog.